Hey guys, let's get more news about Dallas, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Steelers LB Patrick Queen sends forward reminder to fans after Cowboys loss. After losing two straight games to the Indianapolis Colts and Dallas Cowboys, the Pittsburgh Steelers have dropped from 3-0 to 3-2 in the blink of an eye, and a contingent of fans are beginning to get a bit restless. With that in mind, on October 8, Steelers linebacker Patrick Queen posted a brief reminder on social media. The message produced over 3.3k likes and over 100,000 views in seven hours, but it also appeared to frustrate some of Queen's followers considering the linebacker isn't coming off his best stretch of game since joining the Steelers. Make a, expletive, play, the top comment read. And another user replied, call Devontae Adams as soon as possible please. Having said that, there were some within the Pittsburgh community that showed Queen and the Steelers some support. I think everyone was just cranky that they had to stay up so late. Keep fighting, brother, one follower said. And finally, a fourth response urged Queen to show out on Sunday, adding that the Steelers need a bounce-back game. The Steelers' defense has tailed off the past two weeks, and that's contributed to their losses just as much as the offensive deficiencies have. Although the Cowboys only scored 20 points in Week 5, Dallas drove up and down the field with ease accumulating 445 total yards of offense. And if not for multiple red zone turnovers, it probably would have been a very different scoreline on Sunday night. The issues on the defensive side, according to head coach Mike Tomlin on October 8, have partially stemmed from breakdowns in communication. That would make sense, considering the Steelers' numbers in pass coverage. Queen himself has not been great in this area, but he's not alone and the recent struggles have been collective. Undrafted rookie slot CB Beanie Bishop Jr. has allowed 201 yards and two touchdowns in coverage over the first five weeks, according to Pro Football Focus. Fellow cornerbacks Joey Porter Jr. and Dante Jackson are not far behind though, with 144 yards apiece. Then there's Queen, at 140 yards allowed, including an opposing passer rating of 108.3. Safeties Minka Fitzpatrick and Damon Takazi round out the group of Steelers defenders that have been charged with more than 100 yards through the air through five games. If it was just Queen's below-average marks and pass coverage that were the only problem, Steelers fans might be able to live with that. The middle linebacker's run defense has been the bigger issue, however, and it's been a major problem so far, according to PFF. Queen has missed eight tackles compared to five key defensive stops since joining the Steelers, seven of which have come in run defense. That performance has yielded an awful stop percentage of 1.7% in run defense and a missed tackle percentage of 29.2%. He's also allowed an average of 5.6 rush yards per tackle. When asked about Queen's early struggles during a mailbag article on October 8, Pittsburgh Post-Gazette beat reporter Ray Fittipaldo blamed the added responsibilities that come with wearing the green dot on defense. It is taking some time, for Queen to find his footing, Fittipaldo acknowledged. There are reasons for it. Queen has a lot on his plate as the QB of the defense, the beat writer went on. He is making all the calls and has a lot of responsibility. Some of the issues in coverage are because of poor communication. He's new and he's probably not playing fast because he has so many other responsibilities. By that logic, Queen should improve as the weeks go on. And he better, considering the Steelers paid him $13.84 million in guaranteed money when they signed him to a three-year contract this spring. Jerry on injuries to Guyton, Bland, and Parsons. The Cowboys have been hit hard on the injury front here in the last few weeks, particularly at the same position. Defensive end has seen the Cowboys lose Sam Williams, knee, for the season back in training camp, and then Demarcus Lawrence for four to eight weeks with a foot injury. Micah Parsons missed last week to a high ankle sprain and then Marshawn Neeland went down with a knee injury that could keep him out about six weeks, although the Cowboys are still in the process of evaluating him. 
there have been plenty of other injuries as well to other positions. On Tuesday, Cowboys owner-slash-GM Jerry Jones was asked about the chances of a few players who could come back this week against the Lions. Regarding to offensive tackle Tyler Guyton, who left the last game with a knee injury, we'll take it a look at it at practice, Jones said of Guyton. My thoughts would be has a chance to play against Detroit. As for cornerback Darren Bland, who has been on IR with a fractured foot, it doesn't look like this will be the game he returns. Well, I don't think he'll get there this week. I think he's on schedule. Jones said. We had thoughts certainly after the bye. We'll see how he does this week. It's not impossible. And regarding Micah Parsons, who was expected to miss at least two games after the injury during the Giants game, Jones said he will be evaluated carefully. That's iffy. We'll see how it works out this week. Steelers' Mike Tomlin addresses George Pickens' usage, behavior, versus Cowboys. The Pittsburgh Steelers suffered their second straight loss on Sunday against the Dallas Cowboys. After Justin Fields and the Steelers' offense seemed to be figuring things out in Week 4, they took a step back on Sunday. They were outgained by Dallas, for 45-226, and had to punt five times. After the loss, many were confused about receiver George Pickens' usage, as he played just 34 snaps. On Tuesday, coach Mike Tomlin clarified that the lack of Pickens on the field had more to do with load management than character issues. Most players, particularly in today's game that have specialized skill sets that play positions like receiver, they don't play every down, Tomlin said. They don't play every down because you need them in significant moments. You need M at the back half of the season. You need M in the second half of football games and those weighty downs, and so it's really just a 2024 discussion regarding load management. Tomlin did also address Pickens' potential behavioral issues after an interaction involving him and cornerback Jordan Lewis went viral. It's certainly things that I'm open to addressing and will and do, Tomlin said. I just don't detail, and in settings like this because it's business between he and I in terms of his growth and development as a player and as a man. I just don't think it aids that growth and the development to address it in open settings such as this regarding his behavior. If Tomlin is being honest about Pickens' usage, fans can hopefully expect to see more of him as the season continues. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Mike Tomlin? Leave your opinion in the comments.